2017, 2010 Ford Ranger, reported a possible wheel bearing noise. One on the rear tail shaft bolts is just one sitting here holding it. I've backed off the nuts that hold the center bearing because they're actually on a slot. And I've got some rags on the ground to lay the shaft on. And now I've got sliding it out. It should just pull out, but I'll need two hands for this. There you have it. Shaft's out. Got the ceiling surface, nice clean rag, something from being damaged. And it's intact in one piece. Now I'm to take it out and put it on the bench. So the uni joints and everything else seem to feel alright. No major play in them. And non greasables anyway. I'll check them while they're on the vehicle. This is what worries me. The nuts are still done up. In the center of the shaft. If I can get a position you can see. It's early in the morning so the sun's beaming through. The nuts are still done up. And yet I've got this play. Thank you. 
course can always Sean removing the circlips for the uni joint close to the cross there because um, there's plenty of videos out there showing you how to do that but I've only done the two halves or the half required to access that nut not easy we'll have a gut Sean you're removing the cross all I'm going to do is use the old trusty copper hammer balance the cross across the vice and then manage to support the sides that I want to stay still and I'll strike down the half I want them Moves. Not real. But it is. Now the fun bit. A bit of rust coming out. Shape of the spines used to be and what they've worn down to, which is raised with them. So, I don't know how many k's they had left, but it was about to go around. There's drive, and that would be my cause. Okay, organise a new shaft and yoke, and centre bearing. The rest is failed, the rest is new. Alright, so, drive shaft has been repaired into a local supplier, new centre bearing, they got it wrong the first time they supplied one that was too big to go into situ. Bolted up, did up the rear flares because these slide on, did up the rear nuts, then tighten them up. Now we try it. Okay, so new shaft, just going to the start. Balanced and everything else. New centre bearing, new unis. Doesn't seem to be running perfect. That shaft is too bad. Well, it's a good ref, go to second gear and see what happens because that's where the noise was. 30 close, 30 problems now, plus. So we've had it running, check for movement, that's all centre bearing movement, that's all perfectly normal. It's the whole shaft moving in the rubbers, that's what you want. Not a great deal of movement, but certainly supported all the way along. Job done. Of course it's custom machine, so we did the whole job. No shortcuts. If, it was doing, if you're doing it yourself, then obviously it's up to you, but people don't like paying for things twice. 